CIT, the Center for Indigenous Theater, is a three-year training institute for Indigenous students. The students start from the beginning in year one, and each year of training builds off of the first year, and then the second year, and then third year. We also offer fourth year training to graduates, and that fourth year training is often built from um, creative energy juices that build up over the last three years. Uh, new plays are being written, video dramas are being created. CIT means inspiration. I see a lot of people come through the program who are at first very shy, and as they go through the terms and years, they become more and more solidified in who they will be as an Indigenous artist. When people come here from small communities, reservations, towns, cities, um, they are engulfed into a different world. I strongly believe that Toronto is its own world. What a CIT has let me do is uh be in a situation, a place where there's a lot of things I don't have to think about so I can think about the things I want to think about and hearing the stories and working with the other students, the other Indigenous students. I have like 26 years of formal education and there was never another Indigenous person in with, in, with me in any of those times. We are incredible people. We really are. And we have been holding ourselves to the standard of mediocrity that is the colonizer for a very, very long time now. And we don't have to anymore. CIT is a place where I can like, I feel like I can really express myself like artistically. Um, I often feel like it's like an escape of mine because I feel like I can't really create the ways I can at CIT anywhere else. So I feel like it's really helped me just like bring out my creative side and like my voice as an artist. Here, they kind of just make you do it and they just make you get into it like you don't really have a choice. So I've just gotten used to it and I've gotten to really play around with it. While being here at CIT, I've learned to, you know, not be so closed off and you really do have to put yourself out there. Um, the teachers will literally force it out of you if you want to be, you know, scared or not want to do a scene, they will work with you. And, um, I think that's that's what I would say uh, most that I've learned is just coming out of your uh, comfort zone and it'll only help you in the end. Expand your knowledge, expand your talents, you know, then take that leap of faith and, you know, give it a shot. Who knows? No matter what theatre school you're in, it's, it's such hard work. There's lots of exploration, lots of investigation. There's a lot of self-exploration. Please come and check us out. We have so much to offer. There's a lot of Indigenous programming uh, happening in, in Ontario that we are part of, and we welcome you to come and take part in those things with us. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this work. Miigwech. Welcome to the Center for Indigenous Theatre's Program Info Session. My name is Pearl. I am DM. And my name is Princess. We are current students at CIT. We're happy to have you join us today. We're happy to answer all your questions about our school and how you can become a student in our class. Have you ever thought about pursuing a career as an artist? Let us know in the comments. If you're watching us right now, you probably have some questions in mind about the Center for Indigenous Theatre and what we're all about. Feel free to leave those in the comments too. We'll start with a little history on CIT and show you what the program and school year may look like. Then we'll go over our COVID-19 health and safety protocol as well as how to apply and get into the program. During our short time today, you'll also get to view a clip from our spring showcase. Also, we were able to sit down with one of CIT's faculty members who is also an alumni, Lisa Cromarty. So stay tuned for those clips. 
Let's jump in with a brief history lesson. CIT was founded by James Buller and was originally a six-week program called Native Theatre School. The Native Theatre School was then renamed Centre for Indigenous Theatre in 1994. We then went on to become a full-time program in 1999. We expanded to a three-year program in 2002 and finally added a fourth year in 2008. If you're still wondering what we're all about, CIT is a post-secondary program that provides training in acting, voice, and movement. We also offer cultural classes that are focused on dance, song, and oral history. We have partnerships across Canada that we will share different experiences with throughout the year. We offer opportunities for land-based teaching with the Bajmaje, storytellers in Manitowanan, and Anwatogzi and in Nipissing First Nation. Now it's time for a clip from our spring showcase. Scene, Shadow Wolf. One dark evening, two best friends are walking home from through the park. A man stalks and follows them through the darkness of trees. He gets close behind them. A streak of silver passes through his peripherals and goes behind a tree. He tries to make out what it is. The man relaxes, smiles sinisterly. He gives, she gives a sinister smile right back, revealing slight canine teeth. She jumps at him, gently tapping his forehead. Visuals of violence and wolf attacks. A blood curdling scream. <laughs> The girl jumps through the shadows of the trees, casting a wolf shadow, and disappears into the darkness. Scene, safety is compromised. Something just happened here, in the park. <laughs> Tell me, what did you experience? I don't know what happened. I was just walking and something just tapped my forehead. I couldn't see it. It almost got me. Safety is compromised here at Trinity Bellwoods Park. The homeless people have no place in this park. I urge all Bellwood residents to continue to encourage their removal and support our city's plan to evict these disruptors and let us get on with our lives. Scene, encampment, bust. So... The cops and the protesters are face to face, pushing the fence. You can hear their shields clashing against the fence, grunting, struggling, yelling. Take my tent, tear it down. Get up and leave her. Humility over authority. Humanity. Justice for our people. Man, I'm hungry. Fight back desperately. Out of reach! Ugh, this is madness. Ugh. Fucking ten poles breaking! Ugh, snap. It felt like metal. His body was getting sore. He felt like his he felt like he was opening up more with his chest and arms. Shifting his shoulders. His hardening up to stone. He's gonna be sore tomorrow. He pushes back, protective, defensive, a wall, a wolf, stomping feet, baring teeth. He's leading the pack. But the homeless are outnumbered and they are all forced to leave. Plumes of smoke rise. The shelters are burning. I touched a tree where I used to sleep. Melting metal, patches of ground burnt black where the tents used to be. The street lamps in the park light up the night. Friends are picked up and carried away. Most of us are missing. The encampments have all been cleared. The park is empty, but no one is safe. Some thoughts for the displaced.
a place to heal your wounds, to get them on their feet, to be happy. Safety and community, to be with family. To find a safe area, a place to call home, a safe place. To find a place to hide. The stewards of this park were supposed to ensure that their sanctuary and those that reside within were safe and secure. Back to our program. <laughs> Here's the outline of our current school year. The first cohort of first year students start school in September. We begin with an orientation period of CIT in Toronto. It's a lot of fun. Students that enrolled into, then enrolled into full-time training with Watt winter break in between our studies. We are now continuing our training from January until May, leading up to graduation. Due to COVID-19, special protocols have been put into place. This includes, but is not limited to, mandatory social distancing and facial coverings, as well as sanitization and screening before entering CIT studios. The health and safety of our students, faculty, and staff members is of the utmost importance. That may leave you wondering what your class schedule might look like during the school year. Our current health and safety re regulations can continue to develop. Your training may be influenced by COVID-19 related provincial guidelines. Classes are typically in person, but will be online in some cases. You will have a variety of classes at CIT throughout the year, such as dance, voice, physical theater, singing, and story creation. You'll be on your feet and expect to be actively participating in all classes. Although accommodations can always be made, you can address any excess concerns or needs to your educators or staff. It is now time for a clip with one of our alumni and faculty members, Lisa Cromarty. Hello, Ani. My name is Lisa Cromarty. And where are you from? I'm from Wakwemakong and Big Trout Lake and I currently live in Northern Ontario. All right, and so let's get right into it. As an actor, what career have you been able to pursue since graduating from CIT? Uh, since graduating CIT, I've worked as an actor both in theater and film and television. Um, some bigger things that I was a part of uh, were the Unnatural and Accidental Woman at the National Arts Centre, um, as well as I also got to work in my home community of Wakwemakong with the Dabajima Jig Theatre Company. And we did a play there called An Honor Story, which was the first thing I did out of um, CIT. And it was so much fun. And I've got to work on um, a couple of CBC productions like uh, Burden of Truth, Coroner, uh, they're called principal roles. So when you're a principal actor, you have five lines or more. Um, so I was able to work on those sets and I got to do a couple films. Um, I've done the silencing with Nikolai Koster Waldu, um, also known as Jamie Lannis Lannister from Game of Thrones. And I've got to do Indian Horse. Um, the director for that was Stephen Campanelli, who is Clint Eastwood's um, like principal director of photography. So that was really cool uh, working with him. And I've also got to do a film called Wild Indian. That was filmed in Oklahoma. Um, I was a supporting character in that film and it just premiered at Sundance Film Festival this past January. Right on, so you've been pretty busy since you graduated. Yeah, when I first graduated, it was kind of slow, actually. Um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of actors can relate to that. So for the most of us, when you graduate from a program, it takes you a while to kind of gain steam in getting your name out there, getting comfortable with auditioning, getting the confidence. Um, it takes a few years. It took me a few years anyway. So uh, for the first little while, while I was living in Toronto, I wasn't really um, booking meant like much stuff and uh, finally I um, I moved up north so I moved to Sudbury and at that time there just happened to be a growing film industry in Sudbury, North Bay, Sault Ste. Marie so I was like very comfortable with that move north knowing I could still act 
So when, when I was in Sudbury, which was probably about three years ago now, I finally got an agent. I, I, I hadn't had an agent that whole time. And so uh, she just started submitting me for film and television and I started booking. And since I've been up north, I've been starting to get these like bigger roles. The auditions I'm getting are a whole lot bigger as well. Like a good audition has like two scenes in them. Um, so I've been getting a lot more of those. Yeah. So just since I've been up north, I've been um, really snowballing, I guess. Yeah, you've uh, you've taken off the last couple of years. So, um, so you graduated in what year? Two thousand seven. Uh, that's when I enrolled. So I graduated in two thousand ten. Graduated in two thousand ten. Okay. Yeah, eleven years ago. <laughs> right, and now you're teaching at CIT. So how do you find the school? How what kind of environment do you see the school in right now for students? Like, is it exciting? Is it not good? Is it happy sad like what's your experience teaching at CIT uh okay since I've been back to CIT I am so jealous of the space that the students have now like the artscape um the studios there are just gorgeous and like open big wide like I was I was so envious of this I was like wow these kids are so lucky uh kids I always say kids students are so lucky um so yes, and it's like in a, right beside uh, Trinity Bellwoods, which is awesome. We, when I was going, we were like on King Street, right in the entertainment district. And like, uh, we had kind of like office space that was our studio. So um, I'm so happy to see both like the administration, administration as well as this, as well as the studio together. And um, plus now I feel like CIT has a lot more partnerships with like organizations and things. So like, um, I know like uh, Canada's National Voice Intensive uses like CIT space. So that having that opportunity to take that program while in Toronto, I took that program after I graduated. I had to fundraise to go to um, Vancouver, British Columbia to take that program. And now it was just like at CIT. So. That was really amazing. It just seems like it's evolving, it's growing, and it's networking. Even doing these things, it's like networking so much more. And um, the instructors seem like really, really awesome as well. I mean, they were really awesome when I went to school too. So it's good to see that they're continuing with that as well. Thank you, Lisa. Did that inspire you to want to apply? Let us know in the comments below. Wondering what requirements are needed to apply to the Centre for Indigenous Theatre? Well, you must identify as First Nations, Métis or Inuit. You must be 18 years of age or older. You need a grade 10 English level or higher. Have an interest in acting, movement, voice, self-discovery in theatre, as well as an interest in exploring Indigenous culture and knowledge. Now that we've gone over the requirements, here are important documents that you must submit when applying to the Center for Indigenous Theatre. They include an updated resume, a 500 word essay expressing your interest in theatre and coming to CIT, two references that can vouch for your interest in theatre, a photocopy of your health card, an audition video of you doing some script work. To help you out with your audition, we've created a how-to video. Take a look. Hi, I'm Sam Twin. I'm a fourth year student here at Centre for Indigenous Theatre. Hi, I'm Teresa Cutknife and I'm also a fourth year student at the Centre for Indigenous Theatre. Uh, we'll give you some tips and tricks on uh, how to do your monologues and get them sent into CIT. Yes, so first find an age appropriate monologue for yourself. Uh, use something from the Indigenous canon, uh, something like from Thompson Highway, Drew Hayden Taylor, uh, Kenneth T. Williams, do you have any more? Keith Barker, Alanis King, and if you have any troubles finding anything like that, you could email CIT and we'll provide you with a monologue. So Sam, what did you do for your um, audition into CIT? I did uh, Ivic from Thunderstick by uh, Kenneth Williams. What about you? What did you do? I was sent a collection of different uh, story pieces from Coyote City. 
what to wear. Uh, wear something simple, neutral colors, something that you're comfortable and confident in. Yep. And you know, it does, there's not really a time limit for it, but uh, it should be around three minutes. If you have any other skills that you want to show, like singing, dancing, hand drumming, anything and everything, feel free to submit it. But you do have to have a monologue. Unless, of course, you're a storyteller and you have a story, uh, then you could submit that instead of the monologue, but no accents, please. And the most important thing is to have fun. And if you stumble, that's okay. Yep. You can do it over and over as many times as you feel. Have any other difficulties like doing your, your monologue or audition? Uh, probably the hardest part was memorizing it all, and uh, I had somebody film it for me. I did not know that it was best to film it with a neutral background, so I filmed it just in a living room and there was a lot of uh, things in the background, but it worked out. And you don't need a professional camera. Uh, we're doing this on an iPhone 10. You can stack it up on some books or put it on a table, whatever you got to do. As long as it's capturing basically from half of your torso up so we can see your shoulders and your head, you can have a, a relative or somebody hold the camera for you and you can just send that into CIT. Have fun. There are ongoing requirements in order to remain in the program. Curious on what it takes to be a CIT graduate? You are expected to be on time and present for all classes, and you must actively be looking for funding while you attend your studies. Tuition each year costs $3,750. Before you go, we would like to mention that there are alternative funding options if you are unable to receive financial supporting from your van. Band. There are other organizations that you can submit applications to for funding. These include, but are not limited to, Inspired Foundation, Dream Capture Charitable, Métis uh, Nation of Ontario, Canada Post, Mississauga of the Credit, and other local organizations. If you're in need of funding application assistance, contact us at the Center for Indigenous Theatre. We are accepting applications for a full-time program. Reminder. No student has ever been turned away due to lack of funding. Please make sure to follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook to stay updated on CIT news and updates. Also, check out our new website at indigenoustheater.com. We would also like to thank our funders. With their generous support, we were able to provide a school for our students. The Department of Canadian Heritage, the Ontario Arts Council, the Toronto Arts Council, Mizewe Beak, Aboriginal Employment and Training, Hastings Park Foundation of Rights and Freedoms, McLean Smith Family Foundation, and the Ontario Arts Council. Thank you for attending CIT's program info session. Also, if you have any more questions, please leave them in a the comment section below and we'll, we'll get back to you. One, two, three. See, See you soon! soon. Wait.